Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the new um, quad chamfer tool in 3D Studio Max 2015. Um, it's a really good new tool. It, um, it helps people to make better meshes because when we chamfer something it chamfers it as a quad, quad, quad mesh. So there are four edges in the mesh and it's not a tri mesh where there are three. What I'm going to do is show you it. It's easier to understand. So I'm going to draw a box. Make it a grey color because I don't like the green. And the new, I'll convert it to an editable poly as well. So the this new tool can be shown can be used in using two different ways. It can be used in when you press right quick to get the quad menu, and um, we can find it under chamfer, and um, and we can also find it here on the right bar under chamfer and settings. Okay, so we get the screen view comes up and here it shows the old-fashioned chamfer which is a triangle and then it gives you a new option here which is a quad chamfer so you can immediately see the difference between a tri chamfer and a quad quad chamfer so it's got other settings like the amount of segments same as the tri chamfer and it's, it gives you the amount that the chamfer does as well so let's compare it again and it also has tension, so the new quad chamfer has a spinner where you can adjust the tension, so you can adjust the curve. It's more clear if I give it more segments, so you can make the curve sharper, or less sharp, or anything in between. Another really good tool, um, for feature of this, is the, the open chamfer which you can use the same as in the standard chamfer but you can also in the quad chamfer you can invert it so it can give you a new mesh um, as well because we can copy this um, and then we can make it into a new mesh so let's just choose that again invert it we can convert it to an editable poly and there you go. So let's take that back again. So didn't work the first time, but now we have a new mesh made from just using the chamfer and invert the open box. So if you can if you think about it, we can make lots of complex shapes um, through this. The other way to use the quad chamfer is to use it on the modify panel. I'm just going to make two boxes here and one of them I'm going to use the old shaft. I'll convert them to an editable mesh first and this one I'm going to use the old methods using the standard chamfer in the modify panel and I'll give it three segments and this one I'm going to use the new quad transfer option. I'll give it about three segments again. Three. And make the tension 50. And you can see here immediately with two segments on this one and this has three segments you can see on the quad chamfered version if we zoom in the these bits are made up of quads and these ones on the old version the standard chamfer are made up of tri angles and quads so if we were to develop this mesh more, for example using the turbo smooth, 
it can create some issues with the smoothness at these edges. Whereas the quad chamfer, when we take it to turbo smooth, it gives a really nice array of a nice area of quads. So here's the standard again, the quad chamfer. And in the and if you use the quad chamfer in the modify panel, I'll just delete the back cube. If you use the quad chamfer in the modify panel, you can have use different options. So you can select edges. So you it allows you to go back into the editable poly. So you can chamfer by using the selected edges. You can use all edges, and you have other options here. Yeah. And again, let's reiterate what it can do. So we can again increase, decrease the amount, like in the old version. We, but we can also increase and decrease the tension. And what I really like about the tool is we can invert it, invert the open chamfer. So I'm going to copy this, okay, and then I'm going to invert the new mesh, open chamfer, and invert it. And immediately you can see that I've made a, a box with a hollow box around it. I'll put the middle one like this. And that's and usually making a mesh around a mesh would take a bit longer, but with the quad mesh it's it takes no time and we can do things, you know, show you how to develop it further by converting it into an editable poly and you know we can extrude um, by local normal yep. so it's got a lot of options as I say and um, that's about it so I hope this helped you and as I say this is a really good new new part of 3ds max 2015 um, if you've got any comments or questions, please write them down here on YouTube, and I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. Okay, thanks. Bye.